is Zhiyun Crane 2 suitable for vlogging? So it's December the 17, 2017, end of the year, manic time. I didn't really have a time to record any new tutorials for you. What I will do though is I'll tell you a bit about Zhiyun Crane 2. Not long time ago I sold my Beholder EC1 gimbal, which I was pretty happy with, but it wasn't really suitable for vlogging. Then I started to use uh, Joby Gorilla Pods, but after a couple of videos, a couple of people told me that footage is too shaky, and I, th and I thought it's the vlog style. But then I thought maybe I should get back to gimbals. And uh, I found that Zhiyun Crane 2 thing, people in their reviews, they were saying that there is a selfie mode. And I was like, all right, selfie mode, so how can I use it? Is Zhiyun Crane 2 suitable for vlogging? Yes, it is. It's really good for vlogging. One sec, I'll show you. Where's that? <laughs> That's bloody amazing, isn't it? Oh, this little feature of rotating the camera is just awesome. I can do a smooth cinematic sequence and then just triple click and it rotates to me, which is just unbelievably cool. Couple of things I want to mention, pros and cons comparing to my Beholder EC1. Firstly, Beholder EC1 had 1.4 inch screw holes on the side of a, of a handle. Crane doesn't have it, obviously. With Beholder EC1, I was able to mount both mic and monitor on the side of my handle. Here though, I will need to buy a different plate with screw holes or something like that. I was able to mount my mic on top of camera and balance it like that. It's amazing because sometimes I obviously want my mic to point to the subject I'm shooting. Beholder EC1 batteries came in a kind of container that you screwed in the gimbal's handle. Crane batteries come separately and you have to charge them in a separate charger. I find Beholder's solution more convenient. I couldn't use Beholder for vlogging because Beholder didn't have any controls on gimbal sensitivity and stuff like that. Here, for instance, you see I move and camera kind of follows me. Beauty about Crane is that it has a lot of controls on the gimbal itself on this little uh, LED display. So I can control sensitivity if I'm vlogging and I can put it on high sensitivity and if I'm doing B-roll or Anything else I can put it on low sensitivity and get much smoother shots. It has a record button on a gimbal's grip. So you press record and it just starts recording, which is really, really cool. You don't have to touch camera at all. As I'm using Sony a7R2 uh, and this control wire is plugged in camera. So gimbal is actually charging my camera which is just insanely cool because battery life on Sony little mirrorless cameras are really, really bad. It has awesome tripod mounted to the bottom of a gimbal, allowing me just to put it on the table and it will stand, which is also a really good thing. Overall, I'm really happy with this gimbal. Uh, that's only a few little questions I wanted to talk about. It's not a comprehensive review of Zhiyun Crane 2, just my thoughts and answer to particular question. Hope you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching and I see you guys in upcoming vlogs.